In solving for the area under the curve for your absolute value function, you need to know how to perform two things. One, you need to be able to visualize the graph of an absolute value function. And the second one is you need to know how to perform definite integral or, to ha or how to evaluate definite integral. So in this first example, we need to find the area under the curve of our function absolute value of 2x minus 1 dx from the interval 0 to 2. So there are two steps that we're going to be working on. First is finding the x-intercept of our absolute value function so we can graph it. And the second step is performing the definite integral. So in our first step, 2x minus 1 has an x-intercept of x equal to 1 half. And to do that, all you have to do is to set 2x minus 1 to 0 and solve for x. Now the x-intercept is right here, and we know that the graph of an absolute value is similar to a v-shaped curve. Well, it's not really a curve, but this particular graph right here where in our x-intercept is at one half, so we have two partitions, one to the left of positive one half, and the other one is to the right of your x-intercept at one half. So if you'll notice that our interval is from zero to two, so I shaded my region from my interval zero to two, creating two separate graphs that I could evaluate using definite integral. Now, since I have two partitions, I know that all the values here in my absolute value will be negative, and here will be my positive value for my function. So here, I separated my 2x minus 1 dx function into the negative of 2x minus 1 and 2x minus 1 positive. So these are all the negative values, and these are all the positive values of your function based on our absolute value. Now, since we have separated our um, function by negative 2x minus 1 and 2x minus 1, we're ready to set up our integral notation. So the first area under the curve, we will concentrate on the interval from 0 to 1 half. So we'll have our equation, which is the interval or the function quantity 2x minus 1 negative that is less than 1 half. And the other one will be 2x minus 1 that is greater than 1 half. So my two interval or my two integral notations will be negative or quantity 2x minus 1 dx negative from 0 through positive 1 half, which is represented by this tiny area under the curve right here. And for my second area will be my function 2x minus 1, or the definite integral of 2x minus 1, from 1 half to 2. And this is represented by my second in integral. Now I have two functions that I'll be um, evaluate, evaluating using the definite integral. And the integral of negative quantity 2x minus 1, distribute the negative sign to your parentheses, and you'll have negative x squared plus x from 0 to 1 half. So I took the integral of my function, and now all I need to do is to evaluate my definite integral by using my lower limit and upper limit. And for my second integral function, the integral of 2x minus 1 dx is x squared minus x from 1 half to 2. Now, in working with definite integral, just plug in the value of your upper limit minus your lower limit, and you'll get 1 over 4. And for my second function, x squared minus x from 1 half to 2, I will substitute my upper limit first, subtracted it with my function, substituting the lower limit of 1 half, and it will give me 9 over 4. Now I have 1 fourth plus 9 over 4, and it will give me 5 over 2 units squared. So the area under the curve of your absolute value function 2x minus 1 dx is simply 5 over 2 units squared. And for our second example, let's find the area under the curve for absolute value of x minus 2 dx from 4 to negative 2. Now, notice that your lower limit is actually higher than your upper limit, and one of the properties of your 
definite integral is you can switch your lower limit and your upper limit provided that you will change the sign of your function. So from positive, it will become negative. So therefore, if I'm going to change my notation so that I'll have a lower limit that is actually lower than the upper limit, I will change it into the negative integral of absolute value of x minus 2 dx from negative 2 to 4. So this is my new integral function that I'm going to use for my solution in finding the area under the curve of my absolute value function. So step number one is to find your x-intercept. So x minus 2 equal to 0 will give me x equal to 2. So this will be my x-intercept and my graph for my absolute value function. My interval is from negative 2 to 4. So I shaded the region from negative 2 to 4, so I can visualize the two functions that I'm going to use for my definite integral. So on this side of your absolute value, it will be your negative value for x minus 2. So I have negative quantity x minus 2 dx from negative 2 to positive 2. And for my second area, it'll be my integ integral of x minus 2 dx from 2 to 4. Now, the second step is applying my definite integral and evaluating it using the rules that we have learned before. So to find the integral of our first function, we'll have negative x squared over 2 plus 2x from negative 2 to 2. And the integral of x minus 2 dx from 2 to 4 will be x squared minus 2x from 2 to 4. So I need to find or evaluate my definite integral for my first function which is equal to 8, and the definite integral of my second function, which is positive 2. I, I, I will add this two together because we need to add the area to find the sum of this two right here, and it will give me 10. However, you need to remember that we use the property of integration, that we switch our lower limit and upper limit. Therefore, our answer will have a negative answer or value so it's equal to negative 10 unit squared so the area under the curve of this particular function or absolute value function is negative 10 unit squared